I'm here with my coach Eli. One of the things that I wanted to share with you guys, because again, he was the one that started writing my lifting programs and my diet and stuff several years ago. And one of the things that was in the exercise was focusing a lot on eccentric work, where basically you're slowing these reps down. And you know, again, for me, coming from a lift like where I used to power lift, I used to do strongman when I was younger, sure. and I was always trying to lift kind of heavy. It was kind of humbling because I couldn't lift very heavy. But from a jiu-jitsu standpoint, there were several things that I kind of liked. First off, again, I'm in my later 30s, so all of a sudden I was lifting lighter weight. My muscles were getting sore, but my joints feel strong, right? Yeah. So like, I, like after I got done doing a squat day, for instance, or a bench day, I didn't have that achiness in my elbows, shoulders, or my knees. Yes. Like everything felt pretty good. I felt strong, but like the muscles were definitely taxed and fatigued. Absolutely. And I really liked that. And so it was a really cool way to get a better workout or a really good muscle stimulating workout but not tear up my joints. And again, from a guy who's been doing jujitsu where you're basically tugging on joints for 20 years, that's important to me because at this point in my life, I'm focused on longevity and being able to train for a long period of time and being able, and I love lifting. And so it was a cool way to lower the weight, which can be humbling a little bit. You can't ego lift on these. But at the same time, it was a really good way to get some stimulation from the muscle. And so I wanted him to explain it to you guys so you could you know, throw it into your own routines should you want to. So he's gonna take us through a couple of these ideas with lifting with a focus on the eccentric and slowing down the reps a bit. Yeah, so tempo work. Um, how do you make lightweight feel heavy? You move it slowly. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna carry over a couple ways with Jiu Jitsu. One, we can get a lot of stress on the muscle mm -hmm. with less stress on the joints. Okay. And then two, working you know, with slower eccentrics, tempo work, pauses and stuff, that's gonna carry over to that isometric strength that everyone's talking about. Sure. Whenever they talk about that holding power. Yeah, because we're pushing or we're squeezing, or yeah. whatever. like a lot of times, like if, we're, if we are having to push like with a frame, it's not just a one-time push, it's yeah. like a push and we're holding there as we move away. Yes. And so it's not just a big powerful rep, right? It's yes. being able to hold something for a long time, right? Yeah, yeah. so in, when we talk about the movements, eccentric would be the lengthening of a muscle, concentric, the shortening of a muscle, and then a isometric would be a static hold of the muscle. Okay. okay? So for incline, for instance, um, got these big weights. <laughs> so once you get set up here, the, the eccentric will begin at the very end of the concentric. So he just pressed it. All right, now the eccentric begins from here. Say we're doing a slow eccentric, timed, whatever that may be, and then press up. So I'm gonna have him do a three second eccentric here. Three and two and one, press. Now, that'll be varying depending on the exercise or the tempo, but that's the idea of it, is we're slowing down that movement, making these 30s feel much heavier, that pause even adding some to it, uh, and getting a full range of motion through that. And I, you've done this before with them where we had like pauses programmed in like mm -hmm. inferences with like a chest press. You get down here to the bottom, and you get this deep stretch in the pecs, you can feel it, and then you come up. Yes. It, uh, it, it hits a little different than simply just yeah. Right here. Yeah, and then especially even too, um, for, for people who aren't as you know, advanced with lifting, mm -hmm. this makes you feel that weight. Mm. You know, you're going to learn to move that weight uh, in a mechanical manner because you're going to feel it a lot more. Instead of just dropping it and throwing it around, um, you've got to take your time with it. So you become very much acquainted with that movement and you start to feel that, okay, am I feeling it in my chest? What yeah. am I feeling? It gives you a little bit more time to think about it. Yeah, that makes sense. And also too, because like if we're doing it like a slower eccentric, we can't use ultra heavy weight. And so if our form is still being developed, mm -hmm. that gives us a little bit more wiggle room where like if we're trying to mess around with it and make mistakes, if we have to, if, mm -hmm. if we're going to make a mistake, right? Then it's not as costly. Like if I'm lifting some really heavy weight and my yeah. elbow moves out of position for a second, I mean, that could tear something. Yeah, your Whereas, margin for error is a bit bigger with this. Absolutely. It's almost yeah. like we talked about this earlier, like in jujitsu, if I make a mistake against like, let's say if I make me, if I make a mistake against a blue belt, no big deal. Mm -hmm. makes, it, makes Make a mistake against a black belt, bad time for me, right? Sure, and sure. so again, it's almost like you can think of the blue belt as lighter weight, mm -hmm. the black belt as heavier weight, and so again, like you said, your margin for error is a little different. Yeah, absolutely. So with the tempo work, we went over a pushing movement. All right, with the pulling movement, it's exactly the same concept. Again, eccentric being the lengthening of the muscle, concentric being the shortening. It just looks a little different because the movement is opposite. So the concentric here being when he actually pulls the weight down. So when he pulls the weight down, that's the shortening of the muscles. Now on the way up, that's going to be the eccentric because that is the lengthening of the muscles. So it's just mirrored from a pushing movement. And again, from here, if we did that same three second eccentric, what that would look like would be at the end of the concentric and three and two and one at the end of the movement there. So.
<coughs> same you, thing, just married. Yeah, and you can think about like again for any of you guys that get like because you can it, it's different. Like if you're doing like a like a push, like sure. again, it's pushing and pulling, right? So if we're thinking like a leg press, for instance. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we understand when we're pushing, that's our concentric, and it's yes. going. But then if we're doing something like say a a leg curl on a hamstring thing and trying to slow that down, mm -hmm. well the concentric is going to be when that hamstring is getting longer, exactly. and it's a little different. Yeah. So. If you get confused on that, because again, I know sometimes people can a little bit in the beginning, just think about like, again, like he's saying, if we're doing the row, my muscles contracting, that muscle's getting shorter for a moment, right? The muscle's getting shorter. And then if it's going here, it's getting longer. And then the same thing with the bench, right? Like we're, mm -hmm. we're sitting down and that pec is getting stretched out yes. versus that pec's getting shorter to contract. Yes. Yeah. So guys, just something to share with you. It was really helpful to me. I started doing a lot of it. It's not something I did a lot of beforehand because I just didn't do it. And so it was one of those things where as I've gotten older, I've liked the, the routines that he's put together for me because I've been able to train and lift more often. They affect my jujitsu less. Like when I used to do like heavier lifts back in the day, like if I did like a heavy deadlift day or a heavy bench day or squat day, mm -hmm. I mean like my joints felt sore, my body felt sore and like even mentally, I felt yes. pretty like taxed. Mm -hmm. You know, and this carries over well too because it's not going to be as taxing on your nervous system. Yeah. And so on. So the recovery is going to be a little bit better. Yeah. And so again, one of the things that we did recently, guys, we put together a program. We worked on it for about a year. Um, if you guys would like to get access to it, it has um, two different uh, strength training programs, very similar, but again, they're a little different. Uh, one is more of a beginner phase for training. One's like intermediate, advanced, I guess you would say. Um, if you want to get access to them, you can check the links down below. Uh, something that's been really useful to me, and so for me, as you guys know, I like sharing. So if you guys want to check it out, check the links down below. If not, you can take this tip right here and you can throw it into your next lift and simply take one of your main exercises like you do, like your bench, your squat, or your deadlift, and you can just change it up a little bit and see how it feels. So Eli, thanks for being on, brother. Yes, sir. And we'll talk to you guys next time.